It's a Tuesday morning, and judging by the number of boaters out on the St. Lawrence, it's no secret this river and the rest of the Great Lakes Basin is of the utmost importance to surrounding areas. And that's why many people were excited to hear the last of the eight bordering states signed off on the Great Lakes Compact. It's an opportunity for the states to come together and in partnership with Canada to determine how they're going to manage that great water resource for the long-term benefit of the citizens of the Great Lakes. President Bush is asking for the compact to be fast-tracked to his desk, but just how fast remains to be seen. I, I think the House is uh, pretty well on track to, to get this done before the end of this legislative year. Uh, the Senate is in a uh, reasonably good position as well, but uh, uh, there may be a little bit uh, rougher road in that house. The Great Lakes Compact would ensure that the water that we have here will stay here. Um, and of course that water is critical for the regional ecosystem, but also important for um, the lifeline that is uh, our local economies here. The Compact does that by focusing on controlling water diversion. The Great Lakes system holds over 90% of the United States surface fresh water. Um, and although that seems like a tremendously abundant resource, only 1% of that is refreshed every year. So basically, if we take a lot of water out of Great Lakes and don't return it, it's gone forever. Now, once this resolution reaches the desk of President Bush, it's expected that he will quickly sign off on it. Monday, he issued a statement saying that the compact would ensure sustainable use and responsible management of the waters and urged Congress to pass it as soon as they can as well. Reporting in Clayton, Brian Dwyer, News 10 Now.